What's up YouTubers one and all, my name is Fatelib1987 and today we'll be taking a look at, uh, well, actually we're taking a look at it again. The brand new, well, it's not brand new. Transformers 2 Series 71 Deluxe Class Dark of the Moon Mirage slash Dino. They call him Dino in the film, but in reality he's Mirage. So here we are. Oh, and he's going to be inside the new Rise of Unicron film, fan film coming out next year. Uh, in quarter four. So, be sure to look out for him. So, this is the car mode. Of course, it's not a, a licensed Ferrari because Hapro couldn't get it. But, the fact that we have a toy at all this guy is amazing. It really is. The backdrop is the Chicago battle. Um, not the Chicago. Uh, Highway Washington DC battle. Like, um, it's like the high, it's like the freeway chase. And it looks really good. Uh, weapons are inside this thing, so, and yes, it can roll. Uh, size comparison, let's bring out Lockdown, Bumblebee, Optimus. And, uh, teaser for a later review, because I just got him. Although... I would also get I would also get a uh, side side swipe out from here as well. I got two teasers and I got two um and I got other things. So let's I got a lot of things inside comparison. We're just gonna get a lot of car stuff if you know what I mean. <laughs> so here he is next to side swipe. Now I know I know this is the dark and the moon version. That one's like. Pricey, I guess, and uh, but I do like Revenge of the Fall. I do like Side Swipe. Don't get me wrong. Scale works even without even if the hood isn't exactly accurate to this scene. And on top of that, I don't think I'm gonna be getting any drugs anytime soon. Uh, we got Bumblebee. Here's a shot of comparison to that. Lockdown. I mean, of course, the Lamborghini is gonna be. Uh, something different. I mean, lockdown. Sure, he's a he's a bit bulky guy, but uh, should it really be that bigger? I mean, in all seriousness. And then our first big teaser for a later review. I have sideways. And yes, I prepared the intro ahead of time. The intro um the intro unboxing ahead of time. So I didn't need to, uh, shall we say, destroy stuff. You know what I mean. So with Voyager class, the only one I can get or view at the moment is Optimus Prime. I got a Reaper labels on the way for him. Um, which I'm gonna be turning him to Nemesis Prime, and then I got another teaser for you guys, and this is. I also managed to create uh, something di different for this guy, but this is Meg Megzi, Sue Series Megzi, the thirty one to be specific. So there's that. With all that out of the way, I guess we can start with transformation. So first, what you want to do, the first thing you get, you want to do is unhook the doors. Now that might, might be a bit tricky. But you're basically going to push in and just slide out. The doors unlock everything out of the transformation. And then you can just start by bringing all this out. You can take these out as well. And just leave them there for now. These are in fact going to be... Uh, his blades in robot mode, but leave them there for now. So now you got all that done. Uh, one of the things I like to do now: come around here to the back, untab these. You're gonna bring it up, swivel, and then just flatten it like so. This is his uh, butt flap. So now what comes to this? The, the transformation for this guy is really integrated, and I love it. Uh, so, you're going to untab it from, I have a ton of halves from each other. You're going to untab the 
shoulders from the from the body. I'm gonna straighten out the arm, and just going to bleed the arm like that for now. Do the same thing on the other side. Unhook. Straighten out the arm. And make sure these are all the way up. Because this is what you're going to do. So, you turn it 180. You flip this down. And that just sits there. And one of the most good things about this, also, I would suggest you flip this up. You got this tab here. You're going to slide into this hole. Do the same thing on the other side. But one of the coolest things about the transformation is, like, it just, like, folds in entirely on itself. I mean, you'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean in a moment. So, uh, first, so you got that. You want to bring this all the way. Well, I guess that's the far as it could go. But now you're going to need to untab the legs from here. Bring them up like so this is where it's going to start being a bit complicated so you're going to keep pushing this in well i don't want to break it so you're gonna push this in at the same time i suggest you push the leg parts in Straighten out the feet. You got the legs all done. Well, so turn them around. Then you got the legs all done. But you're going to come around here. You're going to start angling this a lot. And this is supposed to go down all the way. Not sure you, you notice, but we need to... Bring the wings from here, just like so. This is going to help more break more clearance. And what this basically is, is that this is literally collapsing on itself. And that's just going to lock in a place, like that thing's not moving anywhere. You can turn the arms around now. One of the things I don't like about the transformation is the fact that it has this. So to turn the arms around to be like that. Repeat the same on the other side. You gotta have them. You're just gonna have to have them like that. Like there's not much you can do with articulation. Because it cannot go 360. It's it's kind of sad for this. But anyways, moving back to this. Angle these back down. Bring the head all the way up. Like so. And you got this tab here. You're going to slot into this hole. Right here. Make sure you got it all angled out. And just snap into place. There's nothing you can do to transform the shoulder parts. But I guess after everything is all said and done. Here we have Mirage in his robot mode. And after we put the weapons on him. Being his blades, and I wish there was a better way to put them on or something. There's his display. If I had the time to, I would transform Bumblebee and all of them right now. But, uh, I don't have the time. I mean, I really wish I did. Uh... 
So for size comparison, we're gonna bring in Wheeljack as always. And kind of a nice fit besides Wheeljack was also in Dark to the Moon. And speaking of which, when the hell are we getting Q? Although then again, Q is like one of the last ranked characters from Dark to the Moon. Along with Hatchet, actually. We need Hatchet, God. Actually, you know what? I think I have time for a few transformations so we can do size comparison. So, for comparison, we're going to have next to Bumblebee. They're quite in scale with each other. But I got Dark and Moon Bumblebee on the way, by the way. Uh, we got another teaser uh, of Sideways. And, uh... Yeah, just by the head, they're the same size, but if you count the wings, he's clearly taller. As for Voyagers go, I will not give the teaser for the uh, robot mode for Megatron just yet, because I got a few others we can do. We got the uh, last night Megatron we can do. For now. Uh, we got Soundwave, of course, and that's it. No, wait, we can also get Grindor because he's leader class, but we're going to get more leader classes soon, don't worry. We also got way more leader classes on the way. About, I'm going to say, um, according to what I got, um, I'm going to say we got three more on the way, I think. I gotta double check on that, but I know it's definitely, I got at least three. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got three more on the way. So, there's that. Articulation goes, uh, well, we already showed off this, and it is quite hellish to deal with. So, this is actually a double joint, uh, by the way. So, that's good. We got 360. Uh, thankfully at the shoulder, kind of. Oh. Yeah, 360 at the shoulder, thankfully. We got only a head nod can turn a little bit, but there's not much the head can do. Uh, arms are on a, uh, pivot joint. Wrists can actually swivel 360. We got the legs. Unfortunately, what I don't like about the fact about this toy is the fact that it doesn't have that you can you can't pose him to where he has like an ankle pivot. He doesn't have an ankle pivot. Thankfully, that is exactly what DNA kit did uh, fixed. So that's good. Um, I recently found that out because I was actually watching uh, Prime vs. Prime the other day, and I was like, "Oh, uh, there's something good about that." Uh. I'll talk about Prime vs. Prime later. Anyways, uh, that's really it for articulation. There's really much, not, not much to this guy. I mean, you can try to put him again, uh, diamond poses, but, like, what you gonna do? Uh, so, transform back. First, uh, you want to take these off. You want to take them off. Uh, then you're gonna come down, and we're gonna start off by touching this entirely. And if you fold these up enough, you're going to bring these all the way up and just straighten out the car mode. Might as well just work on this part. Angle these up. Flip that up. And just turn it. You might as well want to flip down the doors. Make it all nice and subtle. That's better. Uh, with this part now... You're gonna need to arch this head back, arch this head back as much as you can, and try your best with this part. This part's a bit tricky now, but it's doable. But first, I suggest you put the weapons in, like so. This is actually his weapon storage. It's actually inside the alt mode. Pretty convenient, if I do say so myself. Which I do, because I'm the only one in this, in this room. But, uh, for the transformation for robot for vehicle mode, you're going to need to slide the arms. 
turn the arms like this, and just angle them out like that. And just slide it. You got a tab here and a hole there. And you got a um, few holes here. And you're just going to tap that into place. Then just turn the wrist until you get this notch out. That's going to be necessary. That's definitely necessary for the alt mode. So now what you're going to do is going to do the exact same thing on the other side. You're going to turn the arm. Pivot it in. Make sure this hole is out, and you're just going to connect the bot, um, the front half of the car, and then you're gonna take the two, and you're just going to smush them together. Just lay them flat like so. One of the main aspects of the alt mode is that this is going to happen. And you're just going to angle it all the way up. You want to take this part of the car and just shoot it out. Do the same on the other side. Turn the leg. Make sure it's flat. Turn the leg. Make sure it's flat. Now this might be one of the hard parts, but it's doable. First, what you need to do is... You need to straighten everything out. Leave the doors for last. You're going to attach the legs. You're going to slide the legs in. You're basically going to make it look like this. And to lock them in place, you're going to turn this up, turn it around. And just use these tabs here. You got a little hole there on both sides. And that's just going to lock in the legs. Make sure you have everything aligned before you finish up with everything else. The hardest part of the transformation is simply just lining up everything. But it actually is much cleaner than Sideswipe. Don't get me wrong. And what you're basically going to do is you got this hole right here. You got this tab. You're just going to slide it in. And that's just going to lock everything in place. Oh, you also got this tab here. You're going to want to tab it on the back of the door. And that's definitely going to tab everything into place. Do the same thing on the other side. Make sure you got the tab on the door. And make sure you angle it out. And just slide it in. Get all this things nice straightened out. Make sure no wheels are being squished or anything so all four can roll. And there you have Dino in his vehicle mode. Gotta say, it's a lot better cleaner than what I did uh, a couple months ago when I first reviewed this toy. I really do like transformation, don't get me wrong. Uh, so, next review is actually, I decided we're going to be redoing Devastator, actually. I We're doing redoing Devastator because the transformation apparently took longer than I thought. But I'm still doing the reference, no matter what. I'm still doing the... Uh, enemy scrotum reference because that's for you vapor fans. I thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and as always, till all are one. And again, I forgot the instructions. Like I said, I promise I do these. I don't want to forget them, okay guys? If I don't have instructions, that means I didn't get the instructions because uh, I got them like without the box or anything like that, alright? There you go.